Hey YouTube, I'm back with a new project called Project Tow Truck Rust Repair. Okay, this is a client's, um, this is a job for a client of mine. And what he's got here, I'm not sure what year this is. I think it's a, let me see. Let's take a look at the front of this thing. I'm not going to go look for VIN numbers or anything like that. Okay, it's got this seam all the way to the front, so I'm thinking this is probably a uh, 98, or excuse me, 80, 88 or 89, not 98, what the fuck am I thinking? Um, 88 or 89, I think. <clears throat> Chevy, one ton, tow truck. This thing's in, it's in bad shape. But it is fixable, okay? It, you know, definitely is a, is a good candidate. If you were trying to restore an older tow truck and, and you were into this body style, this, this would be a pretty good candidate considering its age and, and where we're at up here. Um, anything this old in Syracuse, you're lucky that it's, it's not just completely falling apart, okay? <clears throat> this thing's actually in surprisingly good shape considering how bad that is. <laughs> Which is much younger. So, um, basically what's going on here, let me show you. Let me grab a flashlight real quick and hopefully you'll be able to see this. Okay, you can't see very well, but if you see here on the spring, the spring perch here, the frame that holds that all together is just gone. Okay, I've got to repair that. Um, what I'm probably going to do is repair it all the way to this bolt is right here. I'm going to probably cut this this bracket off. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this bracket. Um, this whole thing's real tough for me, okay? Because ideally, what I would like to do is tear the whole fucking bed of this off, the whole cab, and and, and clean this whole frame up, okay? Um, but the customer doesn't have the budget for that and doesn't want to do that. So I think what I'm going to do is pull the fuel tank down instead of pulling the bed off. I was planning to pull the bed off, but I think it'll be more cost effective and just easier for me to do it this way. Pull the fuel tank down um, and then start working. Basically the frame, if you look back in here, right below the body there's a cross member. That cross member where it attaches to the frame is, is rotted as well. So I'm thinking basically from this portion of the truck right here on the frame, basically to this portion of the truck right here, I'm going to replate the entire side of it. Um, I'm not going to remove the spring perch. I'm not going to remove some of the, like there's a big huge bracket that this bolts to that slides down the side of the frame like this. Um, I'm not going to remove that. And reason being is, if I start removing things off of this, if I'm, I might as well take the bed off. And the problem with taking the bed off is that we have the hydraulic lines run into the PTO, and I don't want to cause the customer more work by removing those hydraulic lines. I don't, because I don't know how. I don't know anything about hydraulic systems, so. I'm not trying to cause him more work and, and headache trying to get this thing all primed back up and filled back up with hydraulic fluid and, and all that stuff dealt with. So that's how I'm going to do it. I'm just going to pull that tank down. Probably, I don't know, I'm probably not going to leave and lift this thing up. I'm just going to climb under there with the grinder and the wire brush. You know the wire brush wheel and the grinder and I'm gonna go to town on that frame and knock off all that rust and and get it so I can actually weld on it and grind on there you know so it's clean metal and I'm gonna plate that entire side of the frame 
with 3 16 plate and then from that point what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate the bottom side of the frame because Chevy frames are C channels they're not they're not completely boxed in and then the the areas where the the cross members are I'm going to cut out the rusted area of the cross members and use some more of the 3 16 plate which is a lot thicker than they were using on the cross members to replace the, the section that I cut out. Um, this area where the spring perch is I'll probably reinforce it on the inside as well but I'm going to weld the spring perches on. I'm not going to bother trying to, to bolt that. That's, that's too much work. I'm, you know, For me to do that I need to make sure that this rear end is completely torn apart I need to have this thing up on stands I need to be doing a lot of work um, again the customer doesn't have the budget for that so I need to make this as I need to make it as strong as possible with as little work as possible on my end so that's what we're gunning for realistically you know the customer should do the job right <laughs> The customer really should do the job right because he does plan on using this as a tow truck and I think he I th you know we'll, we'll leave it at that there's going to be more money spent on this truck whether if it's through me or somebody else um, sometimes when you get involved in a project um, I would say about 99.99% .99 of the time you have this idea that you can finish the project under a certain budget. <clears throat> Most of the time, if, you're, if your budget is trying to be as realistic as possible with pricing everything out, a good safe bet would be to double or possibly even triple what your estimate is. And then you might have a solid idea of what it's really going to cost you this project over here realistically I can anticipate this project costing far more money than I even want to bother trying to calculate I'm not even putting a budget towards it when it's done it's done <laughs> and hopefully I'll have enough money to do it and, and that's the way this customer should really be thinking about this you know but it's not mine and I'm going to do what he wants me to do and you know and at the end of the day I'm going to have him sign off on some paperwork that's going to you know that I'll have some detailed description of what I plan on doing to this and, and if he approves it then he approves it you know uh, I'm not liable for any kind of safety safety issues that he may have and uh, that's that's not my deal so we'll, we'll go from there we'll talk to the customer tomorrow and, and see how that goes if he signs off on all the paperwork that's what I plan on doing and uh, hopefully I can get that hammered out by this by the end of this weekend and have it back in his hands next week and get my garage back back to my own shit <clears throat> but that's what's going on this project tow truck um, expect I don't know expect another two videos maybe um, just kind of an in progress type thing I'll probably shoot another video once I got the frame the frame all cleaned up and and I can get under there and show you with some good light where I plan on what I plan on doing and then I'll probably show you a finished video of it fully welded and, and painted up so that you can see see what I did and tell me if you think that I did a good job or not. <laughs> or you can bash me into the dirt and tell me that I did a horrible job and I'm putting people's safety at risk and blah, 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 and whatever else you guys might want to say. Anyway, subscribe, comment, like, head down to the description. Um, Check out my Facebook page, Alvarez Metalworks. The link's down there. Go like the page. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.